everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on my 2014 Gibson LPJ. Let's get started. <laughs> For those of you who've been following my channel, you guys know that I use this pretty frequently. In fact, this is my number one guitar. This is my 2014 Gibson LPJ and Fireburst. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a little backstory on the guitar, then I'll do the review. You don't want to miss this, it's going to be great. I started playing back in 2007 and my heroes were Slash, Jimmy Page, Randy Rhodes, and all sorts of other guys. And they played the Gibson Les Paul. I've always loved the single cut look, I've loved the volume and tone knobs, I've loved this pickup selector, I've loved the, everything about it, and for the longest time I couldn't afford one. And then three years after I started playing, I picked up my Epiphone Les Paul Special 2, which I actually did a review on in this channel. If you haven't checked it out, the link is in the description below. And I've always wanted Les Paul and I loved it. And for the longest time, I was, like I said, I wanted the Gibson Les Paul, but I just couldn't afford it. And then my friends had a couple of fun Les Paul standards. They were great. I played them all the time, and they felt really nice. And I was actually going to get an Epiphone Les Paul. And it, it wasn't until about 2015, after I had graduated college. It was about a month after I graduated college. I went to my local Sam Ash store, and I played this guitar. Now, up until this point, I've played many Gibson Les Pauls, and I liked them. I did play a 2013 Gibson LPJ. It did play nice and feel nice. However, the pickups were just a little muddy for my taste. I wanted something that was going to cut through the mix a little bit more. I wanted something that looked a little cooler. And then I found this. This was one of two 2014 Gibson LPJs they had in the store. The other one was a Sunburst finish. I preferred this one. This is the one I played. I picked it up. I was like, wow, this is this is uh, a nice guitar. It has a really thick neck and it's just a great sustain. I played it and it sounded great. My friend played it. He said, this is one of the best Gibsons he's ever played. The next day I walked out with this. And now bear in mind, this is in 2015. I paid $762 for this. And out the door, taxes, setup plan, everything, it was $875. So for an USA American made Gibson Les Paul at that time, that was very cheap, extremely cheap for a Gibson Les Paul. And this has been my main guitar ever since, and I really only mainly play this guitar. Um, occasionally I'll bring up the other guitars, but this is the main one. So a little bit about this guitar. <clears throat> it is a mahogany body with a maple top. It is a it is arched. You, could you might be able to see the arch. It is a true authentic arch top. It has two volumes, two tones, no uh, push-pull, no switching like that, no, none of that. It has two pickups. These are the 61R and the 61T Zebras. And th this is the first year they introduced these. And these are my favorite pickups I've ever played, ever. And it has a three-way toggle switch. It has a rosewood board. On the 12th fret, I don't know if you can see it, but there is an emblem that says 120th anniversary, which is another reason why I bought it. I figured it's going to be super um, unique. Clusen vintage style tuners, uh, they're not locking. I actually found that um, with the way that I string them, I never get out of tune. I know it's weird having a Gibson not go out of tune, but I never have any tuning issues. I, I detune it all the time, no no problems whatsoever. Um, instead of having the Les Paul model on here, it just has a little crown, which I think is unique. It did come with an LPJ truss rail cover, but I changed it out. I figured since this is the Fireburst finish, I should only really name it the Phoenix. So I had it custom engraved Phoenix. I have changed out a little bit of the guitar. It was black speed knobs, 
and now they are like these amber speed knob-esque type of um, tone and volume. I switched out the pickup rings from black to cream and then I switched the, the little washer and the tip to cream and I think that it makes the guitar pop even more. And if you guys have noticed, there's binding on the guitar. Now there's only binding on the body. I actually put the binding on. I put the binding on the neck and the body. The neck was not working out. It was kept going, uh, not staying. And then the dot inlays that I put on there, they weren't really working well. They kept falling off. So I took it off. But this is actually a decal. And I think it looks really nice. Obviously, it's you can see that it's getting dirty and whatnot. But I think it looks really cool. I think it makes the guitar really pop. And let's see, I put strap locks because strap locks, you need strap locks. Um, in here, it does have the um, the quick circuit. It's So it's easier to switch circuits if you have the connector. Um, trapezoid inlays, and I think they have a mother of pearl. And so yeah, that, that's basically what it is. A tunomatic bridge and uh, stop tail. And that's pretty much it. I thought about changing like some of the electronics or even some of the tuners, but I found that I actually like them a lot. So let's stop talking about the actual guitar. Let's start playing. So I'm running into my box VT40X and I have my Ultimate Mini pedal board on here. If you haven't checked out that series, check out my Ultimate Mini pedal board series. I have three videos up there. I go over the pedals themselves, the tones, and then I even turn all of them on and it gets pretty crazy. But we're just going to go over some tones. I, everything is full on. I'm on the clean channel. I have my noise gate set on and this is for reference. <laughs> So I'm running into my Box VT40X. As always, I'm using the AC30 Boost channel. And I have my Ultimate Mini pedal board on here. If you haven't checked out my series, check it out. I go over all my pedals. And then in the second video, I go over all the tones. And in the third video, it gets pretty crazy. I turn on all of them at once. And so you definitely want to check that out if you haven't. All right, let's add some dirt. I'm going to use my Donner Morpher Distortion and my Coco Overdrive. And we're going to start with the neck pickup. Both pickups together. And now the bridge pickup. Now let's try the sustain test. I'm just gonna play the open G. I'm gonna play it in the bridge pickup because it's a little more pokey.
So not bad, not bad at all. So that is my 2014 Gibson LPJ. I love this guitar. I am super happy with this guitar. It, it has a little bit of wear and tear, but you know what? It's it's a guitar. It's a Gibson Les Paul. It's supposed to have some wear and tear. It's not. I didn't buy it just so I can look at it and be pretty, even though it is really pretty. I bought it so I can play, and this I'll never give this guitar up because this is my first Gibson that I ever bought. I'll buy more in the future, but this is my 2014 Gibson LPJ. What do you think of the guitar itself? Have you ever played one? What do you think of these pickups? Do you like them or do you not like them? I personally like the fact that they're open coiled and they're zebras. It gives it a little more bitey response. And I love the fact that it's not a mahogany neck, it's a maple neck. And so it has that snappy response. Everything about this guitar is very well done. Uh, especially considering this is a lower end guitar that you can buy at Guitar Center for about $550. I found a chocolate one, a chocolate finish, and it looked really nice. And it was for about $550. And so, yeah, that's my 2014 Gibson LPJ. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications on posts I do on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Don't forget to check out my other channel called The EYN where we do music reviews, taste tests, movie reviews, and all sorts of other stuff. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, and until next time, keep rocking!